Hi there everyone, my name is Lewis and I am a performance marketing manager at Synthesia. Uh, we are an AI video creation platform that helps businesses to upscale their video creation efforts with really cool AI features such as AI avatars, text-to-speech, script assistant, uh, the list goes on. But essentially my role within the company is to look after all of our meta advertising and get the most revenue out of it as possible. Um, I started the role nearly three years ago now and one of the big problems that I had when I started was that originally we were only sending our website events back into the meta UI. So this meant that I could see which adverts were causing form fills within the website, but I couldn't see any lower funnel events. So I couldn't see contacts that were becoming MQLs or opportunities or actually buying the product from us. And this meant that the data that I was working with within the UI itself was actually very high funnel and didn't necessarily translate to the revenue that I was looking for at the end. Um, so this is where Zapier has really, really helped me. Um, they have a really cool, really simple Facebook conversion integration that lets me send data from my CRM into the Meta platform itself. So what I wanted to do today was very, very quickly show you what I've set up. It's very quick and easy to do so. Um, and then hopefully you can try it on your own accounts. So what I've got in on my screen in front of me is the obviously the Zapier creation tool. And within this, the task itself only has two elements. So the first is to catch a webhook. Now this is what's connecting the CRM to Zapier. And the second is to send a Facebook conversion event. That's what's connecting Zapier to the Facebook UI itself. Um, catching a webhook is very, very straightforward. You just have to set this up and eventually you'll get this URL and this is what you're going to be putting into your CRM. The Facebook conversion setup is also very simple. So the configuration, I'm going to be sending a purchase event in this case. The configuration, it go, you can go through it box by box essentially. Um, you don't have to enter everything in. There's tips along the way. Um, but because you are sending information from your CRM, when you get down to this customer information uh, section, it will essentially let you bring through all of the values that you need from your CRM. So you can populate your email field with an email value, uh, first name, last name, and so on. Um, you get all the way through this section, filling in as much as possible to get to custom data. And in this section, what I tend to do is put a value in, and that value is going to be different for every single event that I have. And I'll talk you through why that's important in a second. Um, but very, very straightforward. Once you've done that, you can press continue. And then all that you need to do is set this up within the Meta UI itself. So I'll go back very quickly to the CRM. You just have to set up a filter. It will probably look different depending on which CRM that you use. Um, but in this case, I'm setting up a filter that's finding strategic MQLs. And that is going to send the webhook that I have here in the Zap. So that URL is really, really important in that case. That's the URL that you need to have in your CRM to connect the two together. With the Facebook conversion event, that's also very, very simple. You remember that I have a value of 25. So all I have to do is create a custom conversion, uh, name it whatever you like, make sure that the event is purchase. I'm sending a purchase event. You might want to send a different kind, but for this instance, it's a purchase event. And this rules section is essentially telling Meta what the event is. Um, so I'm going to say that this custom conversion must have an event parameter with a value that equals 25. If something comes from Zapier that has that, then I know that it's a strategic MQL because I can link it all the way back to the CRM where I set up this original filter. Um, it's as simple as that then. You can then see all of that information within your reporting. Um, and that can help you really to optimize your advertising spend better. So you're not just looking at the higher funnel website events, but also taking into account the lower funnel events that usually are actually the things that are going to cause you uh, the most revenue in the end. Um, the actual, yeah, the system is really easy to set up. We have a multitude of events now, probably around about 50 events um, that we're actually using for all different purposes, all different lower funnel conversions. And it's been really, really helpful for us to see all this information in the UI itself.